Manchin. Congressional leaders from both parties will have lunch with President Obama today at the White House. They'll get a briefing on the fight against ISIS in the Middle East and the battle against Ebola in West Africa. But they'll also discuss how the president can work with the newly elected Congress. Nancy Cordes is on Capitol Hill, where Republicans are creating a game plan for the next two years. Nancy, good morning. Good morning. Republicans picked up at least 12 seats in the House on Tuesday, giving them their largest majority since the Truman era and giving House Speaker John Boehner more power. Bills that he passes will no longer get stalled in the Senate because his party now controls that body, too. Just because uh, we may not be able to get everything we want doesn't mean that we shouldn't. Uh, try to get what we can. House Speaker John Boehner laid out an aggressive agenda for his expanded majority. We can act on the Keystone Pipeline, restore the 40-hour work week that was gutted by Obamacare. On immigration, the Speaker acknowledged it's time for Congress to act and warned President Obama not to try to fix the problem on his own. I believe that the President continues to act on his own. He is going to poison the will. When you play with matches, you take the risk of burning yourself. White House Press Secretary Josh Earnest said the president will move forward, though he welcomed new legislation. The deck has been reshuffled. There is now a uh, uh, Republican majority in the Senate. There is a Republican majority in the House. And you could understand how this might change the political calculation that Republicans make. The Senate passed immigration reform last year, but it stalled in the House. You tried to act in the last Congress, and your conservative members yanked you back. How no, no, can you no, no, work with no. the president on an issue like this? No. Again, I would argue with the premise of the question. Uh, what held us back last year was a flood of kids coming to the border uh, because of the actions that the president had already taken. But even before that border crisis, Republicans were divided over reform. I could uh, regale you with all of my challenges of trying to get... Uh, <laughs> Members on both sides of the aisle to deal with this, uh, they were numerous. But hope springs eternal. Conservative members worry that reform could lead to more rights for people who came to this country illegally. And Tuesday's election only added more GOP members who are two Speaker Boehner's right on this and other issues. Cheryl? All right, thanks, Nancy.